Hello everyone, this is Dr. Paramji. Today we are going to talk about air pollution, which poses a significant risk to newborns, dubbing air pollution as one of the leading killers of children worldwide. See, the deteriorating air quality worldwide isn't unknown to us. Air quality in the city continues to be severe and the smoggy morning and evening that we are exposed to is a proof. Studies have proved that indoor air pollution is about five times higher than outdoor air pollution and people are battling the harmful effect of air pollution on their health on a daily basis, facing irritation in the eyes and even breathing problems. Air pollution is actually the leading killer of children. Exposure to air pollution contributes to more than half of all the deaths from acute low respiratory infections in children under five years. Babies inside the womb are more susceptible to air pollution during the fetal development and in their earliest years. They breathe faster. They breathe faster than adults. Their lungs, organs, brains are still maturing and they take more air with it, more pollution. Newborns arrive after spending months floating in the amniotic fluid covered in the waxy white substance known as vernix caseosa. Some theorize that these fluids and substances actually play a part in the baby's smell. This might be a part of the reason that special newborn scent is fleeting and uh, lasting for only a few weeks. Lactating babies smell of spit up, curdled milk and excreta lingers in the room causing great distress to both mother and the children. Newborn and infants meanwhile spend most of their time indoors where they are more susceptible to household air pollutions. When the mother is exposed to air pollution, so is the fetus through the placenta that exchanges uh, substances between the two. Certain inhaled or ingested pollutants can cause oxidative stress, damage DNA and reduce absorption of nutrients by the fetus. And this study has revealed this can actually alter newborn immune cell production and predispose children to allergies and asthma. Affect Pollution can also affect brain development. As per UNICEF, young children breathe toxic air and that can damage the brain tissue and undermine cognitive development with lifelong implications and setbacks. So what's the solution? See, the basic solution, needless to mention, the parents need to be alert and they need to take initiatives to protect their children, especially babies, from air pollution. The parents who are still grappling with air pollution should think about the measures which they can use to protect the newborn, uh, like avoiding exposures to toxic air. Thankfully, uh, babies in our country, in India, are not taken out in public before they are at least a month old. So don't expose your baby to sunlight in the morning hours because air pollution is known to be worse during the early hours. You can expose the baby to sunlight in the afternoon or in the evening where the sun is little mild. Protect your babies from dust, use organic repellents, avoid dusting, cleaning in the room where the baby is present. Breastfeeding is one of the best, most effective ways to ensure the child's health and survival. Breastfeeding can give your baby a lot of immunity. Feed your child frequently so that they have immunity and they are also hydrated. So these are the things you can do or you can also add an air purification system which is armed with HEPA H14 ISO 50 U filter with 99.999% efficiency along with an ionizer and UVC disinfector. Yes, this kind of thing is a sustainable solution to indoor air pollution and Petrimid CA which is a fully loaded air purification system armed with HEPA 14 ISO 50 U filter with 99.999 efficiency. I repeat, 99.9 999% along with ionizing and UVC disinfector. This is not an ordinary purification system. This is not a purifier. It is an eight shield of air quality defense, totally purifying dust, allergens, PM 2.5, bacteria, viruses, and more. Uh, the exclusive composite filter eliminates harmful gases such as TVOC, formaldehyde, ammonia, nitric oxide, sulfur dioxide. There are washable filters which help uh, block dust particles, pet hair, and they even extend life of your HEPA filter. Long lasting nano silver nano antibacterial layer eliminates the molds and bacteria high quality activated charcoal uh, carbon zeolite filter absorbs the uh, odor and secondhand smoke nanomolecular sieve absorbs harmful industrial pollutants 
as such as harmful gases and nitrogen oxide. Exclusive iron catalytic coating decomposes this TVOC formaldehyde, ammonia, nitric oxide, and sulfur oxide. And H14 ISO 50 U HEPA filter efficiently filters out 99.999% of particles, even small as PM 0.1 micron from the sources, even like sandstorms, wildfires, smoke pollens, and more. There is a new UVC LED technology which destroys the bacteria and viruses and won't cause any ozone or mercury pollution. And there is inbuilt purification. There are inbuilt ionizer which purifies the air in the room by electrically charging the air. So this is a very efficient, complete air purification system with three-way inlet circulation. It has a 400 meter cube CADR uh, per hour for large space air cleaning and uh, the capacity is good. So it is an all round fully full protection, smartest air purification system for measurably clean air. You can use that. Thank you so much.